Well, this was an absolutely wonderful story to wake up to today. For those of you that don't know, it has been a long rumor that EA was developing a brand new Black Panther game. I mean, not that long ago, we have heard that EA was going to be making an Iron Man game. In fact, they let us know some interesting details about that. The fact that it was going to be made by Motive Studios, which is the team that just did an excellent job remaking the Dead Space video game, but now the rumor of them working on a Black Panther video game is no longer a rumor because we got this little teaser. So yes, indeed, yes, indeed. EA is going full steam ahead with their three game team up with Marvel. They did say that they're going to be doing three different video games. So we know two of them now. We know that one of them will be Iron Man. One of them will be Black Panther. And I guess that does leave kind of an interesting mystery around what will the fourth game be. However, we do have some other interesting details when it comes to this particular announcement, including the fact that EA has actually built a brand new studio to work on this title, which is very, very interesting. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Really, only time will tell because, of course, on the one hand, it's exciting to have a new studio working on something because a lot of times when a team comes together for the very first time, I feel like they put their best foot forward. They work really, really well to knock it out of the park and establish themselves. However, also on the flip side of that, we don't have an idea of how good the team actually is because when we have a studio that is already established, we can kind of look back to the titles that they've done and have an idea of just how good of a game can they actually make. But let's dive into the details themselves. So EA has announced that the name of the studio will be known as Cliffhanger Games, which will be a new AAA development studio based in Seattle. So I guess if you live in Seattle, maybe you could go on ahead and see if there's any job applications and get to work on a Black Panther game. But that's pretty freaking cool. But based in Seattle is working on an original third person single player Black Panther game in collaboration with Marvel Games, which is already very exciting for somebody like me. That is literally the main type of game that I love the most. I mean, I love the Uncharted games. I love The Last of Us. I love God of War. So to me, the fact that this is a third person single player game is already absolutely terrific. I know there's a lot of people that still want a big giant multiplayer game for Marvel, and I'm sure that something like that will be done in the future. But for now, I really, really do love that they are doubling down on this whole third person single player crusade because I'm hopeful that just like the Marvel Spider-Man games, we are in for a treat with both Black Panther and Iron Man. The studio's mission is to build an expensive reactive world that empowers players to experience what it is like to take on the mantle of Wakanda's protector, the Black Panther, which I'm very curious about the phrasing there because they do not actually mention T'Challa by name in any way, shape or form. So I guess this will be interesting to see what version of Black Panther they end up going with. I guess time will tell when it comes to this one. We also get to learn a little bit about the people that will be involved with this title and the studio of Cliffhanger Games because it will be being led by Kevin Stevens, who has made his way from Monolith Productions. And for those of you that don't know what Monolith Productions does, most recently, I mean, right now they're working on the Wonder Woman video game. But prior to that, they worked on Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. If you really enjoyed those games, it kind of gives you an idea of just sort of the caliber of game that we're talking about, which I think is great because those games certainly felt very AAA and very polished. Cliffhanger Games has also brought together an accomplished talent with leaders from the critically acclaimed and innovative action adventure games of Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, along with veterans from top franchises, including Halo Infinite, God of War, Call of Duty and others. And we know already of a few people that used to work at Rocksteady that will be part of this team as well, which is pretty freaking exciting. So it definitely seems like they're bringing together a lot of top tier developers from the very recognizable teams across the world, which I think is a wonderful thing to see because it gives a lot more credibility to the idea that Cliffhanger Games could be a very, very, very powerful force and a force to be reckoned with when it comes to making video games. 
In fact, Kevin Stevens also gave us a little bit of information about how they're approaching the game, saying the following, we're dedicated to delivering fans a definitive and authentic Black Panther experience, giving them more agency and control over their narrative than they have ever experienced in a story-driven video game. Now, that sounds a little mumbo jumbo. I don't really know what exactly that means. Does that mean that this is gonna be kind of like Mass Effect, where there'll be a lot of different branches about making decisions with multiple endings or something like that? I guess time will tell. But beyond that, he also says Wakanda is a rich superhero sandbox, which is also interesting because usually the word sandbox is synonymous with an open world video game. So that is most definitely interesting. And our mission is to develop an epic world for players who love Black Panther and want to explore the world of Wakanda as much as we do. He also went on to expand saying the following that the development team at Cliffhanger Games will be working in partnership with Marvel Games to ensure that we craft every aspect of Wakanda, its technology, its heroes, and our own original story with the attention of detail and authenticity that the world of Black Panther deserves. So what a cool way to celebrate the 57th anniversary of Black Panther with this announcement of a brand new video game in development from EA. And don't get me wrong, yes, I know EA has a very shoddy track record when it comes to games. A lot of people in the gaming sphere, as far as fandoms, don't really particularly care for how they do business. But I do have to say that as of late, especially with things like the Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order games, I feel like, at least for me personally, EA has turned the ship, and I am more than confident that we are in for a treat with this title as well. But let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about a Black Panther video game? Are you excited to learn more about this game? Of course, the fact that we are learning that this is a brand new team and it has just recently been assembled probably implies that this game is still a ways away, which is definitely unfortunate to say the least but i also don't believe that this game is all that far away i've seen a few people on twitter mention that they believe that this game is going to be out in like five to seven years from now i just genuinely think that they would not have gone ahead and announced it if that was the case personally the fact that this is being released for the 57th anniversary of black panther as in kind of a celebratory announcement to me, when I look at that, I immediately go and put two and two together, and it seems like the 60th anniversary of Black Panther would be a pretty good year to celebrate with a brand new Black Panther video game. So I personally think that it is probably closer to two to three years away before we get to play this one. If you guys want to see the newest update for Marvel Spider-Man 2, some exciting developments when it comes to San Diego Comic-Con, make sure to check out the video you're currently seeing on your screen. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone.